ALK positive patients um, is a small subgroup of patients, but it's um, about as uh, frequent as um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia in, in children and, uh, and uh, adults. So it's, I mean, we have like 1,000 to 1,500 newly diagnosed ALK positive patients uh, per year in Germany. There's a lot of new um, ALK inhibitors, and I'm talking a little bit on the question of CNS metastases. CNS metastases is a big issue in ALK positive um, tumors because um, after, be, uh, before ALK inhibition, they have about 30% of the patients have already CNS metastases, and after the first um, uh, ALK inhibitor, um, probably about 60 to 70% have, um, uh, have CNS metastases. So now, if you would have a a drug that targets this and this that, that is very very effective in CNS metastases, then you would avoid um, whole brain irradiation. It has been shown that whole brain irradiation is pretty bad for the co recognition, for the cognitive uh, potencies, etc. Um, so we would like to delay whole brain irradiation as long as possible. And there are some new drugs like electinib, but also brigatinib and lorlatinib that um, are being developed. And electinib, I think, is going to be licensed uh, next year. And they seem to have a pretty high effic uh, efficacy um, in, in the brain. So I'm going to be talking about this and um, really focus on the risk of brain meds and how to handle and manage uh, uh, patients with brain meds. At the moment, if you have up to three metastases, then probably these patients get um, stereotactical um, irradiation. But if you have more than three metastases, and this is pretty frequent, uh, these patients might have 50 metastases in the brain, then you tend to give whole brain irradiation. But these patients, they, they live quite a bit of time. They can live in, with a median survival of uh, close to five years. So if you do whole brain irradiation very early on, then these patients may live for four or five years and have a lot of cognitive, cognitive imp impairment. So um, I think we tend probably now to switch in patients that are not eligible, uh, that are not eligible for stereotactical irradiation, switch the TKI to a TKI that is effective in the brain.